I started DJing because it was an element of hip hop, not because I could get free drinks of girls and get in the parties for free. Like this was one of the foundations of this lifestyle that I chose to live. Hey, what up? This is no ID. Go ill or go home. You understand? Chicago, Illinois. Hey, 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 what's up? It's Nick Boogie. Right now, you're checking out my man, Jay Ill. Go ill or go home. Yo, what's the deal? Yours truly, the magnificent DJ Jazzy Jeff. And you're listening to Chicago's Illinois, Jay Illa. Go ill or go home. I want to keep the, the element of hip hop true to me. I don't care what anybody else does. Me, I'm a turntable guy. I think Chicago has the best DJs, period, simply because we incorporate everything. We're the home of house music, so one, you gotta know how to blend. You're only as hot as your next or last event. What's my favorite word? You want to make statements. I've developed the, the high energy blend, and that's always pretty cool. And no, I'm not going to tell you what that entails. <laughs> me, me and him always got to have words and shit. Damn, I'm a peaceful dude. Some opening DJs are too busy trying to take your shine. They don't understand that it's rules to this game. If you're an opening DJ, play like an opening DJ because that DJ behind you was booked to rock the party, not you. <laughs> Chicago's probably one of the hardest cities to ever DJ in because we don't dance here. I was told by a buddy of mine, nowadays DJs are not booked on skill, they're booked on Twitter followers. You don't want anybody coming up to your desk or your cubicle saying, you know what? I like that spreadsheet, but you may want to do it like that, especially if they're not your boss. If you tapping me while I'm while I'm, you know, blending or cutting, if it, all of this, I'm like, ah, oh, man. Is there a correct way to ask for? It? Yeah, you don't. It's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny. The DJ thing was a fluke. My high school baseball coach was a DJ because back in high school, I used to rap on his mixtapes that he would sell in high school. And so he came in and he saw me one day, my man Shanti, and he took me under his wing and put me in DJ boot camp. I think one of the illest stories was Shanti let me spin and he was like, I'll let you rock, but the first time you mess up, you're done. And a couple of times, that was the very first record that I played. <laughs> 